Hello everyone, welcome to Informatica support videos. In this video, we will see how to blacklist or whitelist the ciphers in the domain. The agenda of the video will be how to list the effective ciphers and how to blacklist and whitelist the ciphers and a quick demo on the scene. First, we need to check the effective ciphers. Effective ciphers in the sense which are currently being used by the domain or node. For that, we need to shut down the Informatica services, go to the InfaHome ISP config directory and take the backup of the node meta.xml file and take the backup of the domain, which is a very important step. Now, go to the InfaHome ISP bin directory and run the below command infasetup.sh list domain ciphers hyphen l all. This command is for Linux and the same. Uh, dot bat for windows here hyphen l hyphen l refers to list we are listing the ciphers which are being used by the domain now now after running the above command make the list of the ciphers which you want to blacklist or whitelist one more important thing is the ciphers will come into picture only when the node and the domain is TLS enabled. If the node or the no domain, if it is not TLS enabled, then ciphers will not come into picture. After making the list, you have to run the update domain ciphers command. It will update the domain with the ciphers which we want to update with hyphen CBL hot C. WL. CBL refers to ciphers blacklist and CW refers to ciphers whitelist. The same infa setup.bat will be used by the windows. After running the update domain ciphers command, we need to run the same set of ciphers we have to update on the node as well. For that, we need to run infa setup.sh update gateway node hyphen CBL or CWL. For Windows, we need to run infa setup.bat update gateway node hyphen CBL or CWL. Now we will watch a quick demo on the scene. As you can see, I am on the uh, present, my present working directory is infahome ISP bin directory and but my services are not running now. I have already taken the backup of the node meta.xml file and the domain. Now I am running infa setup.sh list domain ciphers hyphen l all command to list ciphers. I am hitting enter. The command has ran successfully. You can see the black, uh, the uh, the blacklist ciphers, whitelist ciphers, and the effective ciphers and the default ciphers. Default ciphers are nothing but which will be coming by the installer. Whitelist and effective ciphers are which are currently being used by the domain. Now we will run the update domain ciphers command. Yeah. These are the two ciphers which I want to whitelist and this is the cipher which I want to blacklist. Now I am hitting enter with the update domain ciphers command. The command has been run successfully. Now at the end of the command it also shows to run the update gateway node command. So we need to run the update gateway node in, in order to match with the domain ciphers. The same command we need to run with update gateway node instead of update ciphers, update domain ciphers. I'm hitting enter. Yeah, as you can see, the command has been ran successfully and you are good to start the services now. Before starting the services, let me just list out the domain ciphers after updating. I'm hitting enter. As you can see in the whitelist ciphers, we have whitelisted these two ciphers and in the blacklist, we have white blacklisted this cipher and this will be not used by the domain or node now. So, And that's it for this video. We would love to hear from you. You can give your feedback at supportvideos at the redinformatica.com or in the Twitter. Thank you for watching.